Good evening. My guest tonight is Nick DuPont, the president of Forward Lands, a nonprofit organization here in Wilmington. I want to welcome you, Mr. DuPont, to Focus Delaware. Thank you. Very glad to be here. I know a little bit about Forward Lands, but why don't you explain to me uh, what your organization is all about? Be happy to. <clears throat> Forward Lands is a, an organization that uh, was started in 1964. The object was to conserve and preserve um, our natural resources, uh, land and water, uh, to the uh, uh, best uh, possible extent. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> we uh, do not uh, own any land. Uh, we take land that is uh, threatened and uh, it, it's either given to us or we're given funds to acquire it by some interested people or uh, things like that. And we <clears throat> buy a little time, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, uh, intelligent decisions can be made as to the di proper dis disposition of land. And uh, uh, we've done, oh, maybe uh, 20 lands transactions, uh, some very large and some very small mm -hmm. in that time. Let's talk a little bit about those land transactions. What, uh, what uses, for example, when you've acquired this land, uh, have you turned it into, I don't know, let's say a playground or a wildlife refuge, or well, what, what have you done with it? I, I can tell, give you a couple of good examples. Uh, one, the uh, little so-called pocket park, which is uh, just over the Market Street Bridge. It's a little triangular park by <coughs> Brandywine Village. <coughs> that was, uh, uh, we acquired that. <clears throat> and turned it over to the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've made a lovely uh, park out of it. Um, that's a small, uh, probably the smallest transaction we've had. A uh, larger one would be uh, Brandywine Creek State Park, where <clears throat> we worked with uh, uh, the estate of Cousin Ellen Wheelwright, uh, with uh, uh, some other organizations in the state of Delaware to uh, facilitate the transfer of that uh, 400 plus acres of property into uh, state uh, park systems. Mm -hmm. And we've also done up in Pennsylvania a uh, thing called Springton Manor Farm, mm -hmm. which was a, a William Penn grant, uh, a lovely farm, uh, being in the Bartol family for, I think, uh, five generations. And uh, they willed it to us, the whole farm with historic buildings on it, uh, barns as well as buildings. And uh, three years ago, we turned it over to the uh, uh, park system of the Chester County, uh, mm -hmm. Chester County Park System. How many uh, people make up the organization? Well, we have uh, uh, ten trustees. We have uh, uh, myself and uh, a secretary. Mm -hmm. uh, our only paid employee is our secretary, so we're not spending too much of the. Uh, contributors money on uh, on overhead and uh, <clears throat> we have just recently made a mailing which is this uh, little brochure here mm -hmm. uh, to about uh, 5,000 people and the response is uh, is good mm -hmm. this gives a description of what we're all about and uh, what we believe in and how people can join in the uh, in the effort of uh, uh, preserving and conserving our resources, the most important of which is water. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about water and, and preservation and the use of it. Is education the key? Absolutely. There, there is no other way that the American public uh, is going to be made aware, or the world public. We really have to get uh, used to uh, looking at the situation in world perspectives rather than just uh, country by country. Uh, because, strange as it may seem, what happens in uh, Africa or India to their land and their crops uh, affects us. Now, what happens to their land and crops is dependent upon uh, their intelligent use of water. Mm -hmm. So it, it really is a, uh, it, it's a global issue, and uh, education is the only answer. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have to understand uh, simple ratios, like uh, what happens when rain falls in a rainforest. Uh, or what happens when rain falls in, in a regular forest around here since we're not in the tropics. Uh, mm -hmm. The amount of uh, seepage into the ground is uh, uh, about 90 percent. Uh, when you get that same amount of rainfall going on an open field, uh, maybe uh, uh, 70 percent goes into the ground. 
uh, the rest is runoff. So uh, then you get uh, uh, building buildings and uh, paving over uh, sections why the uh, uh, what goes into the ground is just uh, uh, very much diminished uh, order of you know tenfold mm -hmm. and <clears throat> runoff becomes a problem and uh, yet there are ways to circumvent that you can design for instance uh, buildings so that you have a certain dimension of land to work with uh, you can pack as many people into that uh, square area and do it so that there is no loss of groundwater and there is no uh, serious runoff condition mm -hmm. uh, by French drains, by uh, um, uh, clustering, by using uh, all kinds of devices. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to, to get off the topic here, yeah. but I'm just wondering, you know, um, there's been so much said about President Reagan not caring enough about the environment. Um, how do you feel about that? Do you think that in the next four years we'll see some well, what you have to, changes? Uh, or? Uh, Peggy, what you have to uh, ask yourself there is uh, uh, what uh, subject is he really addressing himself to? Mm -hmm. Or what is, what is the critic talking about? Mm -hmm. Now, the critic is probably talking about uh, uh, efficient and effective uses of uh, our uh, national forest lands. And uh, I happen to think that uh, uh, we uh, cannot afford the luxury of uh, just letting those just lie idle. And um, I don't think we can, uh, on the other hand, uh, abuse them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think our park systems can... I, we have a wonderful asset with Teddy Roosevelt and Gifford Pinchot of our state of Pennsylvania mm -hmm. back in the teens, uh, put together this wonderful park system that we have, which is outstanding but we need to uh, manage that asset more productively mm -hmm. well, listen we're running out of some time here but uh, uh, you've been fascinating I've learned an awful lot well goodness me yeah, we're, we're all done yeah uh, we're all done <laughs> maybe we'll but, try and have you back on well, I could, uh, again talk, talk a little bit more about it a long time yeah well listen Mr. DuPont thanks a lot for being on the show right. enjoyed having you uh, and when we come back well Bob will be right back and we'll be learning a little bit more about the state's prison system join us Thank you.